Right, hello, hello, hello everybody. You're gonna hate me today. Sorry, you're gonna hate me. Power Strokes Day. Um, I think it's been about a week. It's been about a week since we did our last lot. I should really go back and have a look, but it does feel like a Wednesday type of thing um, to me. So, Power Strokes, okay. Um, this one's a little bit different. We'll go back next week to doing some longer stuff again. But I just thought we'd like smash out some high intensity stuff on power strokes today. Okay. Um, so the high intensity stuff is really just or like basically almost going to those minute arms, but we've got force, we've got resistance against us. Okay. Um, and so it's gonna be tough to minute on, and it's only a 45 second gap. So we should be reasonably settled for half, just under half, I think. And then we'll start to really feel it as we get further and further along um, into the working sets. And then, yeah, obviously, we're doing sort of a couple at 26, one at 28 um, to finish off those work sets. And, uh, yeah, so we want to be really powerful. Okay, that's the idea. But ultimately, there's... There's the way up between being way too powerful and then blowing out and then not actually giving it enough and getting through the set going, well, actually, that was pretty easy. Okay, um, So we've really just got to hang on it, get that force going, get the drive, um, feel the resistance. You know, Maybe you do need to have the resistance up a little further than you normally have it. Um, 40 to 50 drag. So you know, maybe err on the side of the 50 drag. Um, but play it by ear as we get into as we get into it later in the piece. Okay, um, so have a good warm up. Get um, I do need to actually have a look at my monitor myself, so I'll just have a do a bit of a warm up before. But I forgot to set my drag. That's it. So yeah, so. 50, I'm going 50 plus actually, probably 55 today. Um, just see where that is, whether I have to change it or not. Um, and yeah, and, uh, and, and that should, should give it to us. Um, the good news, two sides to this, is the bad news and good news. Bad news is we're going to have to set, we're going to set up our intervals, which is going to be a bit of mucking around. And if we screw it up, we screw it up. We Hopefully we won't. Um, because after our work sets, we're going to have three minutes, okay? Um, we could just set an intervals of 12, like of one minute by 45s and then get on the clock, but then we have to reset it again for our fast power. So all we do is we get into it. We just, we'll just ro rotate through the screen for these pieces. So it, it's, it's a good use because later on, we're actually probably going to do some things where we go, like three minutes on, one minute off, two minutes on, one minute off, one minute on, one minute off, and then we go up the other way. So then we might go two minutes on, two minutes off, three minutes on, three minutes off. So then we get used to changing the screen. But it's a great tool to be able to do this sort of stuff. And, you know, we don't, we're not just restricted to just watching the clock and then mentally going through it and go, shit, have we done the right time? Finishing early, starting late, you know, classic examples of people cutting corners um so yeah we'll, we'll we'll work with that today um people that have been asking 3m tape so this is the strapping tape you know you twist your ankle you go see a physio um this stuff here magical okay bloody sticky rip a piece off um and i chuck it on my straps on my heel straps okay and I'll do a couple of widths, make sure it's wrapped around. And you can clean it off. That's a great thing. Like, you know, I leave mine on there for a couple of weeks. Um, and then it rolls up or it just actually just starts to wear out. And that's what stops my heels from plicking up. Okay, anyone that's been asking, um, that's it. And also, we've started developing a little bit better herb mount. Um, a better mount with Concept 2. So we have a bar and we have... A ram mount and yes so we're still developing we're still getting it right because 
currently it sort of does block that a little bit but we're still in cahoots with it all and it's actually great it's quite nice probably it would be nice a little bit higher but we're yeah we're working on it we're working on it okay so do your warm up pause the screen whatever you need to um you know get a get a good puff on and then pump the you know three or four minutes and then bust it up to your um, up to your rate and I'm just going to actually do a minute or so by myself because I've talked for way too long and cooled down a little bit so. so these will get pretty tough because of the time gap off but even though you know it's only 22, 24 strokes. So I'm real solid. Might just lift the rake for a second. Easy, easy, right. Now for the hard part. We have to set nine, okay, work with me on this one, work with me. Intervals, variable. Interval number one, we set that one minute. And we go down here, and we go 40 for five. Okay. So that's our 18. We time again, and then we just press OK. That's our 20. Time again. OK, that's our 22. Time again. OK, that's another 22. Time again. That's a 24. Time again. That's a 24. Time again. That's a 26. Time again. That's a 26. And it should say interval 9. Interval 9. And we press time. And then we go down and we change our rest period. Okay? Three minutes. So we'll scroll that across. And then we press OK. Okay? Now we go back to time. And we change that rest timer again. Back to the 45 seconds that we had it on previously. 45, okay, running with me on that one. So then we press OK. And that was interval 11. Okay. This is interval 11 coming up right now. So that was the 30. This is the 32. And then we press time again, and that's our 34, okay? And it should say interval 13 on the screen. So we've inputted 12 into the screen, and we now say no more, no more intervals, okay? So now we're ready for it, okay? So hopefully you're warmed up, ready to go, and we're into it. So we want to work hard, like, you know, we've been doing some of these power strokes, um, you know, and the total sort of working piece of them has been up around sort of 14, 15 minutes, 15, yeah, probably, I'd say. Some of them are a bit long, uh, yeah, 15. What did we do last, like five times five, so 20. We've done 20 minutes of actual work, you know, building up to it. So these today are trying to be powerful, okay? It's a high intensity, so let's really give it some oomph, okay? We want to give it a bit of gas, really nut it out, um, and just look for some really good speed, okay? So that's why we, we need to be quite good good and warm for this. Um, probably should have said that before, but I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, for the fact that, yeah, it's, it's going to be tough, um, and we want to try and produce 
really, really good power. Okay, so right off the first one, it's only a minute, it'll go down pretty quick. Okay, but we just want to really hang off it. It's a really power, power workout, this one. All right, so from the front. I forgot my music, never mind. Here we go. And go. 18 right. So get that push. Solid. Hang off it. Too easy. So, really stand on at this next one. I might actually just go up a little bit. My drag. It's taking me up to 185. Okay. Start to firm it again. My rating started creeping up a little bit towards the end of that one, but it's right. All right, on to 20. Now. Hang off it. Push. Speed. Push the numbers down. Really solid. Yeah. So we're really looking for that high intensive power. Really try and max that one minute, looking for the longest strokes possible. Really powerful. Okay, starting to firm. 22. Moving. So, now. Push the numbers down. Back up. Hold the core. Legs. Driving. Okay. 
goes. I feel the power. I really feel that hang. It's sitting right back through the stroke. It's very powerful. Let's Starting to firm. Twenty two again. Go. Going tall. Push it down. Which was really good intensity. Should be right on our limit for that rate. And now this 24s. And start to work us a little bit harder. Keep the form. Starting to firm. Moving. Now. Push away. Feet. Next power. So for everyone that asks, I'm pushing 135s, 24. Looking for max. Okay, here we go. Same again. Another 24. Max run. Really stand on the foot play. Ready? Now. Push through the hips. Length. Core. Cool. 
all the way. Whoa, burning. Twenty-four. That was a good twenty-four. Up to twenty-six. That's right. Now more weight. Push it back. Hands. Hang. Max speed. Speed. Legs are burning. Another one just like that. Commit to it. Starting to firm. See if you can go better. Boom. And go. Long arm. Swing. Thirty-six. Push. Long drive. Powerful. Right. Hold the numbers. Be feeling a like tight builder in the legs, legs and body. So, last one with power 28 strokes. That's all we got to do. Moving, building this side now. Move the hands. Push the numbers. Come on. Press. Swing.
Mate! Whoa. 130s at 28. I definitely couldn't keep that going for much longer. So, going max like that gives you an appreciation for the people that have been rowing with it high on the drag, you know, 8 to 10. I just, I just couldn't hold that power. So when we hit this minute, pop it back down to your training pace, training drag. If you remember where that is. Yeah, active, feeling active. So now we go to fast power. Okay, these will be a bit more fun. We find the legs are a bit tired, but we're back into the acceleration range now. Where we really want to get that drive and let the hands come around. It's not as laboured with the power because we've got that momentum to get it back around. Okay. I'm sitting nice and tall. Start to firm in a little bit. So hopefully you didn't screw up your setting. You're frantically changing to get it going now. That's fine. Next time. So, first one at 30. Good speed and acceleration, same thing. I want to be pretty close to our max. Power at 30. It's going to feel quicker. Here we go. Building. Now. Good. Feel the difference. Speed. Hang. Control. Feet. Push. Swing. Well, tough on the lungs and the acceleration. That's good. That's what we want to feel. Breathe it in. Got a good lactate build up from the pieces. So we're working that tolerance. So we got to 32, firming, starting to build into this one. Now, 
Hands away. Speed. Hang. Push. Carry. Swing. Good. Okay, thirty four. Keep it there. Next run at thirty four. What we're we looking for, Fermi. Building. That's one. Now, hands away. Get the rhythm. Length. Hang. Push. Swing. Pull away. Wow, this is intensity, guys. Getting right up into the submax zone. Maybe just me. I hope you guys are the same. So, reasonably short workout. But, nevertheless, we had max power. <sighs> had our work set. We had a really good speed and acceleration without the resistance. So we'll paddle down for five or six minutes together. Good little session that one because not often do we get to really focus that high intensity like that max power sort of situation okay so because we're doing that when we go back to I say reasonable a manageable split 
when we're doing power strokes, the body will be like, well, it's definitely not as intense as that last one. So I can hold it for five, six, seven, eight, ten minutes, whatever it needs to be. Whereas that there, now we might have been able to string another 30 seconds onto the end of it. But we were definitely going for it, getting some really good speed. I was really starting to push some solid digits towards the end. So that one as well, it's pretty tough on the old back. You know, you've got to manage yourself really well. Uh, it doesn't matter how old you are, you know, that back, if we hurt the back, there's not a lot you can do in terms of rowing. Okay, you can do a lot of cycling and stuff, but that back is pretty important. And that comes from the core stability, the right technique, you know, making sure that we're not opening off the front, because if we open off the front like that, and we've got all the power, what happens is the back takes all the power from the front. Okay, so I think when you're looking at some of the forces on here, the kilograms, you know, you're looking 80 plus or whatever, so it's just trying to lift a bloody 80 kg off the floor, like, oh, with your back. Of course it's going to hurt. Okay, but if you start with the legs through there, then bring in the back, by the time the back comes in, it's only holding 40, 50 kgs of force because the acceleration has already started the flywheel and then the back's just adding to the speed because the legs are all the muscles, you know, and the back comes through. That's why I talk about the connection between the hands, the lower back, and the feet being that staple. You know, you're holding it like that, and then as you come through, then you flick it open. So it's just that hang, and then it comes back. You know, the more, the more we practice it in a good way, the stronger the muscles become in that form, the better our speed can come, the more we can work on our acceleration, because we've got the technique, you know, if we've, if the back's already gone, all we can do is try and push leaves down faster, but of course there's no connection to it because the back's already gone. Vice versa, you know, classic one is if you're pushing like that and then coming, there's no pivot in the hips to create that. You know, like sitting back into a lazy boy, it's like, yeah, love that shit. You know, like you're just sitting back through the stroke. And it takes a time to develop. It takes a good amount of time to feel that hang. You know, even now I still got to shake out the shoulders a bit because after a while, you know, you start to get like that. The shoulders raise up towards the ears a little bit and it's like, yes, because all of these little muscles underneath your arms and through the sides of your shoulders and stuff just become weak. They haven't got the power to hold, you know, to really get that hang long with the arms. That's what the power strokes is good for. I'll talk about this all the time. I'll harp on about it. You know, power strokes are not really going to build any muscle, okay? But what they are going to do is they're going to strengthen the muscle in a certain, in a certain uh, physique, technique, you know, in the rowing stroke. So it builds the strength this way, the way that we're hanging, the way that we're pushing. So all the muscles that hold us here in the position that's good, it makes them stronger. You know, it doesn't give us big biceps, it doesn't give us a six pack, it doesn't make our calves go massive, you know, anything like that. It just strengthens us in the rowing position. Okay, and that's the best, the best thing that we can do for this is to try and strengthen the position that we're in because 
the stronger you can be in this position. When you back off on the strength, put the rating in and find your sweet spot, you know that ratio I've talked about before, between power and rating, that becomes faster, okay? It means you go faster, you set some PBs. And that's all there is to it. You know, doing little exercises like this are all part of the bigger picture. You know, and I'm sure, and I've seen some good comments online too, by the way, thanks. You know, people are going faster. They're getting back on here. They're getting back involved. You know, crikey, I, I was pissassing around with it for a while. And then it's only been this year I've been like, you know what? Really want to get back into it because I know how fit I can get from it. And no, I'm not going back in the boat. I haven't had the check for a million dollars. So, good, good workout team. Had a good work, warm down. You know, shit, seven minutes now. So, stretched out the backs. Just even think about it now. While we've got quite a lot of pressure on. You know, stretch even a bit more without losing it too much at the front. Nice. Right, nailed it. I hope you guys like the Ugroom too. We've got to come up with a name for it. I like the pain cave. Eric's awesome Oog Room. O, O for awesome. The Aura Room. A few coming through. Um, yeah, okay, awesome. Short but sweet. Powerful but high intensive. Um, you know, hopefully we haven't done any injuries from that because, as I say, if you really start smashing these ones, um, yeah, you can, you know, you, you're putting yourself in a pretty stressful uh, situation. But it's a, it's a great thing. So next week we'll probably, next week we'll definitely we'll go back down a bit. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll go back down longer, probably quite a little bit longer. You know, we'll stretch it out again. So that's a great thing about, you know, the ERG and, and whatever you're working towards. A lot of things into, into lap, okay? So trying to set a half an hour or a 10K, you know, whatever, whatever your, your targets are. Or if you want to do a 5K, um, a lot of them interlock, you know, even a 2K. Even if you were training for, say, an hour test or a half marathon or something like that, a lot of the trainings just do this, okay? Um, if you're doing longer session, yes, we want to be doing a longer period of time at a higher rate because, you know, ultimately if you're going to go, say you're going to do the hour, you really want to be sitting 26, 28 for the hour, okay? Trust me, um, I've done it at 32, 34. Um, yeah, it was pretty nuts. But that's the fact is that you're producing, as I always say, you're producing less watts per stroke, but you're just doing more of them, which makes it ultimately easier on your body, but you've got to be able to handle that rating. So that's what we do. But also, on the flip side, even if you're doing the 2K, you still want to do quite a bit of training because you want to be really fit. So you can do both. It's just if you're going to be doing the hour, we probably won't be doing 500 repeats, you know, or 1,000 metre repeats. Uh, you know, everything you'll be doing will be 10, 12, 15 minute repeats because that's the time period where you're going to be under the pump, um, that sort of thing, okay? So it's all coming. A sensei, Google it, have a look at it. I've already done a little bit, but we're going to be a very interactive way of working out, okay? And this is all part of it, Erg set up everything, um, we're getting into it, uh, we want feedback, we want to be able to give you something that will really, you'll really, really enjoy and can take you to some awesome places, so enjoy, I'm going to have a drink, and then I'm off to the shower, right, thanks team, thanks for tuning in, tell your mates, subscribe.